Hi guys and welcome to Norwegian Modeling Bench. This is Kenneth and today we have the ninth installment in the build series of the BB63 USS Missouri. So in this installment I will be working on the catapults and the crane that goes on the stern section. It's a lot of uh, photo etch involved, uh, so if you like watching me building photo etch, this is definitely an installment to watch. So I hope that you like this one. If you don't subscribe, please do. Click the like button if you like the installment. And as always, I do appreciate comments. So enjoy the build. So we're starting out with the um, catapult base. Uh, there are a lot of um, angles that needs to be 90 degrees to get a, a nice result. So I would definitely recommend using a bending tool like this. Um, this helps uh, getting the, uh, the angles correct and of course uh, that you get it perfectly aligned and uh, that you don't get bends, which would otherwise be, um, be possible if you're using a bending pyre. Then I'm just uh, using a uh, smaller uh, bending plier to, to get those um, ends uh, correctly angled and, and shaped. So just keep attention uh, to the angles, dry fit uh, or test out before you, uh, you add glue. And as you will see during this, the build of, of both the catapult and the crane, I'm using a lot of uh, thin CA glue. Uh, that is a bit easier in terms of, of not getting a, a lot of like uh, glue blobs and, and so on around your build. And um, of course, uh, there are so many tiny um, parts and, um, and, and, and so on that uh, it definitely is a lot easier, easier to work with, uh, with the thin CA glue than, than regular glue. Then we have these really nice signs that go on uh, on the, the the base structure. Uh, if you have this set, you will see that there is a lot of nice details on the photo etch on these sides. So you can see the nuts and, and bolts, so to say, on uh, on the girder structure itself. Uh, so again, this is just uh, aligning it properly, uh, then f finding one place to start, uh, and then. Uh, work through the edges, um, across the edges, applying a tiny amount of uh, thin CA glue at the time. And as you can see, I'm also using a tweezer to, to hold it uh, tightly together. And then you do that on both the um, upper side and the lower side uh, before you, it is um, firmly attached. Um, so you have two sides uh, that you need to do that on before you're adding the platform on top. And, I, and again, I'm using the same approach here. So finding uh, the correct position, gluing it a bit so I can see that it's actually in the correct place before I start working across the edges and, and adding CA glue uh, to, to firmly attach across the entire platform edge or edges, uh, I, I would say. Um, and then letting it dry uh, for a bit is, is probably also a good idea. Uh, so you don't get uh, your fingers stuck to the CA glue. You will have a lot of uh, small uh, remains of that thin CA glue uh, on the sides, or you might have. Then you have some smaller details. I, I haven't shown how to build those. It's quite obvious when looking at the instructions, so not a big, uh, big one there. Uh, but attaching those at this stage um, before going on to the platforms around uh, the catapult itself. Uh, so just using a bending plier to uh, to uh, to take the to bend the rails. Uh, so there is a there is a lot of rails that needs to be bent and then gluing them into place. And I were a bit uh, unfortunate with the second catapult. So you can see here it snapped off both side platforms not a big deal in itself and then you're adding also those uh, platforms uh, on, on top of the, uh, the structure with the railing. Um, then we have uh, the machinery uh, for the catapult uh, that uh, must be built. 
I don't know if it's very easy to see there. Are, these parts are really, really tiny, uh, but the sequence here is uh, at least uh, makes it a bit uh, less difficult than uh, what is uh, suggested in the in, in the instructions at least. Uh, so I'm building up the um, the base for the engine, uh, not. Uh, uh, gluing the, the engine in place, but using the uh, the side base, uh, gluing the engine in there, and then positioning it, them together, uh, as you can see here, on the cutting mat. And again, using thin CA glue to, to get it perfectly into position uh, and letting it dry a bit before, uh, before bending over that top there. Uh, so if you're going to do uh, do this one, I would suggest doing it like this. And then it's gluing the uh, the engine uh, to the platform. So again, this is just regular CA glue, positioning it. And as you can see, it's quite tiny, uh, but really fun to see the end result uh, for sure. And then you have a brass part that uh, is going to stick out to give you also a positive attachment to the platform itself uh, so that's uh, very wise to, uh, to to not have a lot of glue on uh, otherwise uh, you need to tidy up a bit before you will get that to fit uh, so then I'm attaching the uh, the platform uh, platforms together uh, so the platform with the engine to the the main platform and as you can see here, I'm, I'm using that positive connection as my starting point for for where to glue. And then again, just using a thin CA glue uh, to attach it. And you might think it's not enough, but you do have the capillary effect of the CA glue. So it will seep under uh, the, um, the, the brass parts and, and give you a really good bond. Uh, so doing the same thing here, uh, attaching the, the catapult base to the platform. And you, you also have a, a brass part sticking out here that uh, you uh, will use as the positive connection there. Just firmly pressing it uh, together to, with the, the, uh, the base and then uh, again using thin CA glue. And then attaching those platforms that, that snapped off, it's really not a big issue. So you could really just snap, no, snap them off to make your work a bit easier. I didn't do that for the first one, of course, but, uh, but still it panned out really well. So then it's the base. Uh, so that goes onto the, uh, the hull itself. Uh, so I'm using um, E6000 for, for this one. Uh, it makes it a lot easier in terms of, of positioning before uh, using a regular CA glue to, to, to glue on the bottom part uh, of that, uh, that base. Um, so uh, not uh, a, a big issue in itself. Uh, and then just make sure that you press those parts together so, so you don't get any big gaps. Uh, seeing on the reference photos, there should actually be a bit of a gap because these are two parts that are uh, sliding on top of each other, so to say. So, so you might have more, more of a um, um, gap than I did. And then you have a brass part that you're going to bend, so I'm just I just used a regular plier to uh, to do that, uh, and then uh, gluing it together, and then using gravity to help me on on the, that last uh, attachment, which is probably very hard to see in in the in the video here, but you can see there on, on the end at least, and then attaching that to the uh, the base itself, uh, and uh, again first using. Uh, for the brass part using um, regular CA glue and then uh, using thin CA glue again to to attach on the other end. So I think I'm saying thin CA glue a couple of million times. Okay, so here we have the end result of, uh, of uh, building the brass catapults. And as you can say, I have to say, uh, if you don't like photo etch and brass, I don't really understand. Uh, there is something uh, to it. And then we have the crane itself, which is uh, quite a project. Uh, I would, as I am showing here, start off by bending the, this top part, not as they say in the instructions. 
and then uh, bending these um, uh, what should I call it girders the girder structure main girder structure uh, into a 90 uh, degree bend so I have a good uh, way to position the internal bracing so you have the the crane base and then the crane arm that you need to bend like that and as you can see I'm also using this helper tool from the bending um, bending tool uh, to help me uh, get it properly and I'm sorry about the focus here my um, visor is getting in the way but as you can see I'm just using uh, regular CA glue uh, positioning the uh, the brace very uh, precisely before uh, adding it and use a diamond file like this to get those sides uh, perfectly uh, nice so you don't have any remains of those photo etch tags uh, otherwise I can definitely say that you will get into trouble with this one uh, that the fit is very tight uh, so if you have big misalignments here it, it won't fit together you will have uh, gaps when when closing up the, um, the 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 girder structure for for the crane so you have both then the, the crane base uh, and the crane arm where you need to add those internal uh, braces before you can uh, bend the last parts and and kind of close it together also remember on the top you have like a roller uh, that needs to be um, added um, while uh, while uh, pushing these two parts uh, together so as you can see here i am adding that part so uh, this this requires a bit of uh, patience to to get uh, properly uh, properly done but it's it's definitely doable uh, just pay attention and try over again if it doesn't work out uh, so then uh, the, 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 girder, uh, the the braces the girder structure is put together um, again using thin CA glue to, to attach those together and aligning them then you have the crane base uh, uh, which requires a bit of work. There are some bands that are not very clear in the instructions themselves, but if you look at the tiny PE parts, you will see that there are some, uh, some angles that you need to uh, adhere to. So uh, keep that in mind if you're building this, that you are uh, watching out for those bands and, and that you get them properly angled. As you can see here from the part beneath my hand there, you can see that it's kind of, you have two wings on the sides. And uh, do not bend the last, uh, you, have, you can see two fold lines at the end. Do not bend them at this point in time, then you won't be able to, uh, to uh, attach the base to, to the, the crane. Uh, so that is very important to keep in mind. Uh, otherwise, it's a lot of uh, tiny, tiny uh, uh, PE parts that go together here. And as you can see, also those angles uh, makes it a bit difficult. So dry fit, dry fit, dry fit before you glue uh, and, and correct any misalignments, uh, misalignments that you might have in the angles towards the, the PE parts. A tiny, uh, a tiny uh, misalignment will uh, will actually make it impossible to uh, to uh, put together at the end. Uh, so uh, in these uh, side um, bars or uh, what one should call it, the, that that's quite painful. It took me quite a while to get them uh, properly positioned. Uh, and it needs to be in the correct place otherwise you won't be able to close up the the sides and, and the attachments to uh, to the crane so that's something to to watch out for uh, and I th was thinking that it could be a problem attaching the crane uh, to um, to the base itself uh, as you have two holes on the side that you can see here that you need to slide this into but it actually works out quite well because you have two fold lines inside the crane uh, base that 
will and you can fold over after you have attached it. So actually that was uh, well thought out uh, from Ponto's side. And now I'm uh, bending those sides together because it's um, uh, we have attached the base to the crane itself. And then you have this last um, boom, what we should call it, going from uh, from the base to the crane, so giving that support so it can be in an upright position. Uh, so uh, that is uh, then really the end of uh, the build of the photo edge. Uh, and as you can see here, the result is quite, uh, quite nice. So then I'm going ahead with some priming and painting. As always with photo edge, you need to start with a metal primer. Let it dry for uh, at least 24 hours. That's my take on it. Then uh, regular primer and then start with the paint. So first I'm adding the deck blue, letting that dry for uh, a day, then masking it off and then applying the haze gray. So I did that for both the catapults and uh, the crane. So the crane is a bit easier in that sense, no masking or anything, it's just gray. And then I wanted to add uh, some of the uh, wires that you will see on uh, the crane. Uh, it's uh, not um, by, as you can see on in the reference, because the photo edge doesn't really allow uh, to, to rig it that way, but at least it gives an impression that there there are some cablings and, and wires for uh, for the crane and uh, You can follow the um, the rigging uh, Installment to see more in detail on how to do this if if it's unknown for you And as you can see I'm using the uh, the elastic uh, one from which you found a Rosten for this one as well so then the catapults and the crane is ready. So they're just dry fitted in uh, in this uh, video or in this video. Uh, but as you can see, I think it 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 looks really good. So hope that you enjoyed uh, this installment and that you would like to continue following uh, my builds. So until next time, stay safe.